It's High Quiz Bowl, the area's most exciting and challenging quiz show. Sponsors of High Quiz Bowl are the Turbo College, one of Wisconsin's finest independent colleges, and Wholesome Bread, baked by your friends at Erickson Bakeries. Now your host and moderator, Ed Sealstead. And as we get down to the tail end of the season, perhaps one of the two schools appearing on High Quiz Bowl this evening could become a three-time winner and join the other seven schools that have already qualified for the playoffs. Holman High School making its second appearance, going, of course, for win number two, challenging Logan High School. So right now, let's meet the team members. First of all, from Logan. Jeff Jenks, senior. Shane Folk, senior. Steve Dufferin, freshman. Jeanette Miller, junior. Diane Gebhardt is the coach at Logan, and the alternate is Mark Glasser. As I said, Holman going for win number two in a row. Let's meet those smiling team members. Abby Lighthold, junior. Michelle Elliott, junior. Dave Smith, junior. Gary Countryman, senior. Sue Schumann, the coach at Holman. The alternate is Tim Kelling. And making his first appearance, I think, this season is Judge from the Turbo College, Mike Collins. Welcome, Mike. Thanks, Ed. It's nice to be here. Good luck to both teams. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody all set, you think? You bet. Got lots of answers for me? Hopefully. Hopefully, he says. Okay, we'll find out in just a moment, but right now, let's take a break for this. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying natural goodness. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying quality ingredients because Country Hearth Bread has no artificial preservatives. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying nutrition to grow on. Your whole family will love the soft textured quality of Country Hearth Bread. Nature's gift of goodness, mm, Country Hearth Bread. Physical fitness is for everyone for life. I'm Harry Walters, head of the VA, and this is Coach George Allen, chairman of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. We're starting a new emphasis on sports and fitness at the VA because we have a commitment to our veterans' health. Exercise can make the difference to health. So the President's Council is joining with the VA to encourage you to improve your life with a sports and fitness program suited to your abilities. And remember, physical fitness is for everyone. We're proud of the book learning that takes place in our classrooms and the other learning that takes place as you experience college. Viterbo College wants you to learn and to grow. We offer traditional liberal arts studies, mathematics, biology, chemistry, and fine arts. They combine with programs designed to meet vocational interests in computer science, business, and allied health fields. Viterbo College, try us on for size and variety and friendliness. That buzzer starts the game, your first 10-point toss-up. Both John F. Kennedy and Arthur Schlesinger, Jr. won Pulitzer Prizes for their work. They were awarded these prizes in the same field of writing. What was it? <coughs> Dr. and Logan. Autobiography. Mike? Not autobiography. Okay. Holman? Anybody? <coughs> Smith? Biography. Biography is right. Um, let's try astronomy. Let's, okay, 20 points. Saturn is famed as the ringed planet. Two other planets in our solar system, however, have also recently been found to have rings. Which two planets? Jupiter and Uranus. Jupiter and Uranus is right. Back to the toss-ups. Cary Grant stands in a flat Midwestern landscape under a broad sky, seemingly safe, only to be hunted by a... Jank slogan. North by Northwest. North by Northwest is right. U.S. First time in the United States category. Incidentally, our categories this evening are astronomy, literature, miscellaneous, sports, and United States. Most of us could identify a state from a list of its major cities. This bonus tests your knowledge of smaller American cities and towns. Ten points each for correctly identifying the one state in which the following groups of cities are located. Your first group, Varia, Covington, and Paducah. Massachusetts. Kentucky. Eau Claire, Appleton, and Waukesha. <laughs> Wisconsin. Finally, Americus, Decatur, and Valdosta. Iowa. Georgia. <clears throat> Fault. Spectral line images due to imperfections in diffraction gratings and duplicate images caused by reflected television signals 
have something in common with King Hamlet and Banquo. What are all four called? <coughs> Smith Holman. Ghosts. Ghosts, correct. Let's try sports. Try sports. Going for 20 points. Julia Serving is Dr. J. Pete Maravich was Pistol Pete for five points each. What pro basketball stars go by these nicknames? First of all, Clyde. Drexler. Walt Fraser. The Iceman. George Gervin. The Pearl. Earl Monroe. And finally, the Big O. Oscar Robertson. Toss of time. In wartime, a leader can be instrumental in maintaining popular morale. So it was with the French premier, Georges Clemenceau. He raised the morale of French troops in which war? <laughs> Smith Holman. World War I. World War I is right. Let's go back to astronomy. Back to astronomy, okay. The Crab Nebula is number M1 in the Messier catalog. It is found in the constellation Taurus. It is thought to be the remnants left by what sort of stellar event? A supernova? Supernova explosion is correct. Try this one for 10 points, teams. A disciple of Schlieffen, he served as chief of staff to Field Marshal von Hindenburg in World War I. After the war, he took part in Hitler's 1923 Beer Hall Putsch. Name this German general. <coughs> Jenk Slogan. Gehring. Nope. Holman. <coughs> Elliot. Heimler. Ludendorff. For 10 points. What is the three-syllable legal term that refers to someone who dies without leaving a final will and testament? Intestate. Essen, West Germany, Chateauroy, Belgium, and Sheffield, England are all noted for products of a certain industry. What one form of manufacturing is centered in these European cities? <laughs> Fuchs, Logan. Steel. Steel is right. U.S. United States category, this time it's a 30-pointer. Talk about bargains, you're going to earn 10 points apiece if you know what these bargains paid for in U.S. territorial acquisitions. $15 million in 1803. Louisiana Purchase. How about 7.2 million in 1867? Gadsden? Nope, Alaska. And $10 million in 1853. Gadsden. That's the Gadsden purchase. Okay, we go back to the toss-ups. So many horses won the Triple Crown in the 1970s that it almost began to seem routine. The 1977 winner was the first undefeated horse, Dufferin Logan. Seattle Slough. Seattle Slough is right. U.S., please. This time you're going for 30 points, and you might want to jot these things down as I give them to you. If you traveled through the beehive, equality, treasure, and mountain states, for five points apiece and an extra 10 if you name them all, what states would you have visited? And I'll give you 10 seconds to match states with nicknames. We have Utah, Colorado, Nevada, and Missouri. Well, match them up here so oh. we know which Utah is the beehive, All Mountain right. State is Colorado, the Treasure State, Nevada, the Equality State, Missouri. Well, you got Utah and the beehive. Equality State is Wyoming, the Treasure State is Montana, Mountain is West Virginia. Bishop Hugh Latimer and Archbishop Thomas Cranmer were both martyred for their Protestant beliefs by the same English monarch. Name her. Book slogan. Elizabeth. No. Holman. Smith. Mary, Queen of Scots. Mary the First, or Bloody Mary. Mont Blanc is the highest peak in the Alps for 10 points. Book slogan. France. 
No, I'll repeat the question now for Holman. Mount Blanc is the highest peak in the Alps. On what two nations' borders does it lie? Smith? Switzerland and France? Nope, Italy and France. One of Shakespeare's two gentlemen of Verona shares his name with a gentleman attending the Duke in Twelfth Night and with a third century Roman bishop who was martyred on February 14th. What's the name? <laughs> Dufferin Logan. Valentine. Valentine is right. U.S. Staying with the United States, we're down to the next to the last question in the U.S. category. In the December 1984 Iranian hijacking, two Americans employed by AID were slain. What does the acronym AID stand for? Give you a little extra time here. Americans in Defense? No. U.S. Agency for International Development. In Greek mythology, a Gorgon is one of three monstrous sisters. Stethno and Girali were two of them. Who was the third? <coughs> Miller, Logan. Medusa. Medusa is right. Go astronomy. Okay, down to astronomy for 25 points. Between them, Jupiter and Saturn possess the majority of the known moons in our solar system. For five points apiece, identify each of these as either a Jovian or a Saturnian moon. First of all, Titan. Jupiter. Saturn. Callisto. Jupiter. All right. Io. Jupiter. Leda. Saturn. That's Jupiter. And Enceladus. Saturn. That's Saturn. Okay. And that's the buzzer. That ends the first half. So we'll be back in just a moment to check that first half official score. But right now, let's pause for this. America, the team really needs your support. Send your contribution now. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying natural goodness. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying quality ingredients because Country Hearth Bread has no artificial preservatives. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying nutrition to grow on. Your whole family will love the soft textured quality of country hearth bread. Nature's gift of goodness. Mm -hmm. Country hearth bread. And here at the halfway point of game number 27, Logan High School has 95 points, Holman with 70. Back with more questions and answers after this. Three cans of peaches. Bought from your local IGA. The look of the labels and the prices are different for each. But can your family tell the difference? Only you really know, because you buy according to your preference and your pocketbook. And that's why every IGA shopper has three different choices. National name brands, IGA's own, and generic label. We're proud of all three, and think it's a peachy idea that IGA offers you so many choices. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying natural goodness. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying quality ingredients because Country Hearth Bread has no artificial preservatives. When you buy Country Hearth Bread, you're buying nutrition to grow on. Your whole family will love the soft textured quality of Country Hearth Bread. Nature's gift of goodness, mm -hmm. Country Hearth Bread. 